Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Shimmy Bar Life. I hope you're doing well and let's get started. For today, I have my hand weights. So if you have hand weights, go ahead, go ahead and put me on pause, go get your hand weights. If you do not have hand weights, you can always use canned goods or a bottled water they'll work just the same or you don't have to have hand weights if you don't have them so i'm going to put these aside for now so we're going to start our warm-up today we're going to start standing up today for the past couple of days i really besides going through all this we're all trying to survive all this i've been really thinking about our balance I think I did a couple of videos back. I, I work a little bit on balance, but this time I really want to focus today on balance as far as as part of as our workout and our stretch. So I'm standing. I want to stand sideways so you can see. My feet are flat on the ground, so I'm on a very good. I'm not on my mat because my mat's too thick, so I'm flat on the ground on my on the blanket. Tuck in, of course. Tuck in your your pelvis. Look straight up, shoulders down, away from your ears. Relax your shoulders. And let's just stand here for a few moments and just take it in, just breathe. Again, as a friendly reminder, I am outside, so you may hear the noises around me. So right now, we're just taking this moment to breathe. When you are ready, my right leg is coming out. Really engage that core. My supporting leg has a slight bend. I don't lock my knees on this one, so I have a slight bend. I'm gonna go ahead and tip forward. As I raise my leg and extend my arms, nice and slow, take your time on the inhale, and then exhale very slowly back. Now you may be a little shaky and that's okay. Let's do it again. So make sure your hips and shoulders are squared, meaning they're facing down. And then come back up. If you're having trouble doing this particular exercise, you can always find a chair or a wall and do it that way as well. Modify, there's nothing wrong with modifying. Let's do it again. Now on this last one, I want you to hold it for five breaths. Let's go ahead in that pose. Really elongate from your toes to your fingertips. Now hold it right here for five. Four, three, whoops, two, and one. And slowly come back. Shake it off if you need to. We're gonna do the other side. For this one, I'm gonna turn and prepare. If you would notice one side is always better than the other, that's just the human body. You're doing good. This is the one that we're going to hold it for five breaths. And hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Now notice how I'm slowly going back into home pose. I'm not slamming my foot. Remember, Pilates is about control. You have to control the movement. As I said, it's a little bit after eight and it's already humid. So it's a controlled movement. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab those weights. 
Then we'll go ahead and do a little exercise. Like as a balance exercise, go ahead and turn yourself around. Tuck it in, nice and tall. So my left leg is forward. My knees don't go past my toes. We're gonna focus again on balance, but also on your glute. So make sure that your core is nice and tight. If you feel the pain in your lower back, that means your core is not engaged. So we're gonna go ahead. Arms down at first, we're gonna do the right side first. We're gonna lift the right leg for eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Hold it right here. Now we're gonna add the arms. We're gonna lift for eight, Three, two, hold it at the one. Hold this pose right here and pulse. Give me eight more. Three, two, one, and bring it back home. Woo! You want to feel that warmth throughout your leg, throughout your glute. Other side. Prepare. Remember, engage that core and you're lifting with your glute for eight. Go ahead, add the arm for eight. Hold it here. Last eight. And bring it back. Ooh, shake it off if you need to. That was a good one. You should have felt that warmth throughout your quads, your glutes, your core starting to fire up. But guess what? Your arms, your arms are also starting to fire up. So speaking of arms, Go ahead and do a little arm work here. So I'm gonna go caddy, no, sideways. I'm gonna go sideways here so you can see what I'm doing. Very important that your posture, your alignment. Now I have the luxury, again, that I have my French door behind the camera. Tuck it in, lift up the heart, relax the shoulders. Your knees are gonna go up and then down, up and then down. Although I said knees, you're not lifting with your knee. You're lifting with your quad and your abs. Don't lift with your knee. We're gonna go for eight. Have those arms ready. We're gonna lift, eight. Four, three, two, and one. Now we wanna add the arms, some biceps right here, and we lift. And now we switch. For this one, I'm gonna face you. Left side. Remember, engage that core. We lift for eight. Three, two, one, add the arms. Six, seven, and eight, shake it off if you need to, but we're not done. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some sideline work here, meaning we're gonna work, raise the legs to the side. When we do that, again, engage that core, but this time, your oblique are gonna get involved as well. So when we lift, I'm gonna do the first one here. You're lifting to the side, lifting to the side. If you need a chair, or you could hold on to a wall, you may do so. However, I really want you to focus on your balance, but there's nothing wrong with holding on. If you are holding on, it's a slight hold. You're not holding on to your dear life. So we begin, again, nice and tall. My waist are to my side. 
Now your leg, you can either point your toes or you can flex them, depending how your knees feel. I want to point mine. Supporting leg as a slight bend. And we go. And we lift for eight. Hold it here. Now we're going to add the arms. So my, my arms are facing right in front of me. And then we open for... Very good. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, other side. So you should have felt that right here, a little sideline work there. We prepare and we lift for eight. Get those arms ready. We lift for eight. And hold it here. Woo, you should have felt that one. Your legs are nice and warm. Your arms are nice and warm. Now for that one, be very mindful. I'll put my waist down for a second. I wanna show you. If you find yourself that you were doing this, you see my alignment? I'm pushing down as I'm raising up my leg. That's incorrect. It's your spine is doing something that it doesn't really want to do in this particular exercise. So what you're doing is when you do this, you're using your shoulders. You have to use your sideline muscle and your obliques to lift to lift. So be very mindful. Again, if you need to borrow a chair or hold or hold on to the wall, you're more than welcome to do so. I'd much rather you have your shoulders relax as opposed to doing this. So if you catch yourself doing this, you could do the video, you could do this particular exercise again by placing me on pause, or again, as I always said, do the same video at least for three times. But let's go ahead and grab those weights again. We're gonna work on arms here. Now for this one, you can stand up nice and tall, feet underneath your hips, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna do some scarecrows. Scarecrows is, raise up your elbows to where your shoulders are, bring up your arms. So right now they're parallel to my shoulders. They're not here and they're not here. They're right here, like a football goal post. And we go down for eight. You're standing nice and tall. Four, three, two, and one. Give me eight more, just like this. Warm up those arms. Now be mindful of your shoulders. They're in their pocket, they're down. Give me four, three, two, and one. Extend those arms. We're gonna do circles, arm circles, again, Engage that core, nice and tall, shoulders down, heart is lifted, go forward. Ooh, we got 10 more, it's 10. Three, two, one, hold it here, but now we have to go back. We got this, this is the last one. Last 10, woo, feel that, 10. weights shake up your arms good job now when you do those arm circles it's as big as a salad plate now notice again my control 
You're not doing this. You're not flapping your arms. It's a controlled movement. Yes, you're going to feel that one, absolutely. If you couldn't do the 20 going forward and 20 going back, that's okay. Again, that's something you build up. But when you do that, yes, you start to get fatigue, but you gotta keep the movement going. So now that we're nice and warmed up, let's go to the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead, push my mat back a little bit, because the sun's starting to come out. So let's go ahead on our knees and do a nice little child's pose here to stretch out those arms because you deserve it. Big toes together, knees apart, and come into a child's pose. Take a little breather here. Put one arm underneath the other, stretch out those shoulders. Take a little breather. And other side. Ooh, and slowly release. Now we're gonna stay here for a little bit because we're gonna go into some planks, but we're gonna do some push-ups now that we're here. Now for push-ups, you have your choice. You can stay on your knees, that's fine. Right here, you can go full, or if you want, you can also raise your feet and go down. So pick the one that's best for you. We're only doing eight, just please a reminder that you inhale down and you exhale up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them. Gotta find a good spot here because my palms are starting to sweat. So my knees are up, engage that core, and we go down for eight. And one, hold it right here. But we're not done with the plank series yet. Now we wanna do shoulder taps. Now with shoulder taps again, you could be on your knees or you could go full. We're gonna alternate, eight taps. We're gonna start with the right side first. So come into that plank. Again, watch that posture. Move my chair out of the way. And we tap the shoulder, starting with the right for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold it here. Now start with the left. One, hold it here, hold this plank. Inhale, prepare, exhale, downward dog. Good job. Stretch it out, bring out that tailbone. Right leg comes up. In, out, in. Four more. one hold it and then switch left leg comes up in for eight hold it here leg leg left leg was down Hold this pose, knees down, big toes together, knees apart, child's pose. Ooh, that was a good one. Stretch it out. I'm gonna come up and grab a drink of my water, so please excuse me. So your heart rate 
She'll be really pumping. In case you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's strawberries in there. Nice good old vitamin C water. So come up, stretch it out. Good job. I knew I threw that one in there for a looper every once in a while. I like to throw something in as a surprise. So now, if you're outside like me, you're probably sweating bullets. It's nice and humid out here, but my body's feeling good and I hope you are too. So now we're gonna go ahead to our backs, focus more on our abs. Again, the weights are optional. If you wanna use the weights, you can. I'll leave them right, there's a reminder. We wanna go ahead and extend it out. Again, as you know, my ab roll-ups, we're doing six of those today. Arms extended, inhale, exhale down. Now, I am a little bit out of breath, so I may take an extra breath. Control it down, good job. And three more. And last one. And hold it right here. Little, my orchid's in my way. Here we are. And just stretch it out right here, because we want to continue on. So from right here, we're going to come up to a teaser. So we're going to hold this pose. And we want to release. With that, you're going to grab your weights. I'm gonna do some Russian twists here. Now again, the weights are optional. So I always like to hold the pose first. Hold this pose. Now notice my hands are behind my knees. That's fine. What's not okay is if you're using your knees to hold you up. And if you're doing this, see my spine, see my shoulders? That's incorrect. My hands are just being placed behind my knees, but my core is holding on to my posture. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the weights. I'm gonna go ahead and face you, because the sun's in my eye. And with the Russian twist, again, if you have lower back issues, you can always use a towel behind your back to support it. You're more than welcome to do that. If not, if you have the exercise ball, that's even better. You ready? Let's prepare. Let's get into that pose. Hands in front of you. And we twist on an inhale, exhale. Notice how slow I'm going. Are your legs parallel to the floor? Four more, just like this. and slowly release. Go ahead and stretch it out. So those were your obliques. Notice how I was taking my time. I was taking my time because I want your muscles to work. I want your oblique to work. If you're going fast like this, be mindful because your shoulders love to take over. We're gonna do it again. Now this time you want a bigger challenge. You could extend that one leg as you twist. To that pose, extend, five, six, seven, and eight, hold it here, hold it here, hold this pose, and slowly release. How'd you do? 
Go ahead and take a little breather because we have one more sequence. Take a little breather, stretch it out if you need to. Now on this la on the last video, we we did the teaser, but we we held it for one minute. We're gonna do it again today. So I'm wearing glasses. So for one minute, we're gonna hold the teaser, and this is the last of this sequence of teasers. You're more than welcome to have the weights in your hands. You don't have to. If you want to challenge yourself, go for it. If you want to do a free weight, you can. So it's really up to you. So we're going to go ahead and find that pose. My glasses are foggy now. Can you see that? <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead and find that pose. I'm going to put the watch in my hands so I can see better. Find that pose. Remember your posture. Shoulders down and relax. Lift up the heart. Your legs are parallel to the floor. And we begin in three, two, one. Hold it for one minute. And breathe. Some of you may start to shake right now. And that's normal. So my sight, I am on a diagonal. So I won't block my airway. So my neck is aligned to my spine. My legs are parallel to the floor, so they're not down like this, they're up. Knees are in, because you're crunching it. Engage that core, tailbone is straight down. Ooh, look at that, we're almost there. Come on, stay with me. Breathe, breathe, close your eyes if you need to. Listen to my voice, you could do this, you got this. Oh my gosh, guys, we're almost there. You got this. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. We're on this together, stay with me. Oh, could you hold it for last five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Oh, good job. Good job from right here. Go ahead and cross your legs. I like to sit up nice and tall. Lift up my heart, stretch it out. How'd you do? Good job, I know that's a tough one. If you had the weights in your hand, remember it does add a little bit of a challenge, so it's really up to you. You don't have to, you don't have to. Let's go ahead and stretch it out for a little bit. Ooh. But we're not done yet. We're gonna go back. Get my stuff out of the way. Back into the mat. One last ab exercise and then we'll call it a day. Hands behind your neck or your head. Legs to tabletop. Tabletop meaning I could see my toes from behind my knees, engage that core. And when we lift, we lift on the inhale and exhale. Inhale. Four more. Hold it here. Now when we lift up, our legs are going to extend. So we extend. Extend and back. One more. And then we hold it right here. From right here, I'm going to put my hands underneath my lower back. That just supports it. It supports my lower back. I'm going to extend my legs. Again, using my core, I'm going to lift. And then when I go down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see that? Lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's it. Lift. Lift.
Now that was four. This time, when I did that, I started with my left from front. Now you're gonna change the rotation. I'm gonna use my other leg up front. Let me go down. Lift, change the rotation. Lift. Last one, lift using that core. And hold it right here, stretch it up, but we're not done. Now you're gonna bring your legs up, right about here. And now we're gonna scissor. So I'm bringing one leg in front of the other. And stop right there, change the rotation. Last eight, three, two, one, hold it here. Ooh, bring your knees to your chest. Good job, everyone. Good job. Now for that one, I wanna get up real quickly to explain. You have the choice. You could scissor your legs to do that one, or you could do what they call in the ballet where I believe it's called a change, when you kind of go back and forth with your feet. So you have the choice, you could scissor, which is still a good exercise, or you could change. Still working the abs. Go back and lay down from right here. Let's go into that nice stretch, cool down moment. Shoulders, hips, and your feet all even weight. Hands to the side, inhale, exhale up, stretch it out. Nice and long, your shoulders, your hips, your knees are all even weight. Inhale and exhale down very slowly. And that should feel amazing right about now. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. slowly bring it down go ahead and elongate walk your hands and your feet to the side almost like a crescent and stretch it out hold it here walk it center and other side Get center. Bring your knees to your chest like a little ball and rock yourself back and forth. Now right here on this last one, if you can, we're gonna do a shoulder stand. You don't have to do this one, you can skip it all together. This time, just remember that your weight does not go on your shoulders. You have to use your abs. Your arms are only there to support your hips. So for shoulder stand, of course, we lift up. And just hold it nice and tall. And elongate that body, engage that core. A few more breaths. And slowly release. Ooh. I've always loved the feeling when your body gets, excuse me, when you elongate, it feels nice and long. You feel your muscles stretch, almost as someone is pulling you from side to side. One last stretch, butterfly. Bottom of the feet together. Open up your hips. Remember, you're not curled over. Nice and long and you lean forward. Your neck aligns your spine, hold this pose. Take a few breaths. Thank you so much for joining me today. What you hear is a blue jay. Take a few breaths. 
and slowly release. Once again, I thank you so much for joining me. I thank you so much for your support. I hope you're doing well. Again, I always, I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but I do highly recommend that you do the same video at least three times. That way you'll know the difference compared to when you started to where you are now. And that's how you could tell. You don't have to do that, but that is my suggestion. And some of these exercises were a little difficult today for you. That's okay. Pilates is supposed to be difficult. This morning, the stretch was all about balance. If you couldn't balance yourself, that's why we're doing this. If you're having, if you had a lot of issues with this particular video, I highly recommend that you do this one over and over until you finally, not finally get it, but you feel more secure on doing the balance workout. Because the idea is for you to let go of supporting yourself, but you still have to support yourself, that's okay. As long as you're not holding on to your dear life, it's a slight touch. So I thank you again for joining me in this beautiful day. It's morning for me right here. Stay healthy, stay safe. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.